Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Bruce here from Stock Markets with Bruce. They call me Uncle Bruce. Um, today's date is Sunday, April the 7th, 2024. And today I'm going to talk to you about a little old stock called SoFi. I've talked to you about this company before. Um, the story on SoFi is that in the last six months or so, if we take a look at this chart, I'll put my little face way down here. You can see that the Friday close uh, in the aftermarket was 739. We did close at 740 a share of Friday night right up there. Um, we were up nine cents on the session. Uh, but in the last six months or so, from October 2023 until now, you can see the shares have fluctuated just over $10 a share in January uh, with a low in the uh, in the uh, 6 and $7 level, let's say $7 level. And a lot of you who follow this channel, you know that I'm a fan of the company, so I'm a fan of management, and I'm a fan of the growth prospects of this company. A couple of things that I love about the company is that they just raised $845 million in fresh cash, knocking off some debt that was costing them $40 million a year. They've eliminated that and they've added $500 million working capital to their stock. And the fact that looking at this chart, you can see on the upper right-hand corner there, $209.9 million are shorted. There are $209 million shares short on SoFi, which right above my finger here, 23.3% of the stock that is free floating is actually shorted. And this is a huge number to uh, keep in mind uh, going forward. Something else to think about, and the reason for this video is I wanted to show you how you can get your hands on this stock for a real cheap price. Be paid interest on your money in the meantime, just to obligate yourself to buy stock cheap and the price is $4.95 a share. How can you get SoFi at only $4.95 in your greedy, greedy hands? Uh, well, it works like this. If you take a look at an option chain, uh, here's an option chain that is dated January the 26th, January 16th, 2026. And on the upper left, you have call options. And on the upper right, you have put options. And I wanna talk to you about putting on a put contract. In other words, you're going to write or sell a put contract at $7 a contract. And I'll zoom in on that one right now for you. Here we go. And I'll put myself back here. Take a look at this, uh, this little ditty here. Um, on the far left, way over here, the final price on the stock uh, on Friday night was $7.40. The above that is a $7 strike price, which is a put strike price. In other words, if you sell this put and the last person to sell it sold it at 206, uh, that person is obligated to buy the stock at $7 a share. However, they were paid $2.06 for the obligation per share times 100 shares per contract. In other words, they are on the hook to buy the stock for $4.94. Now, little, little, let's go over a little further over here. Um, the put contract lost four cents on the day. The buyer-seller bid-ask ratio at the end of the night, 205 to 207. So there's buyers at 205 who want to buy these contracts. So if you're a seller of this contract, by the way, 329 did trade over here on Friday, and there are 20,300 of these in existence, tons of them. But if you were to sell, a contract at uh, 205 to this uh, to this market um, you would now be on the hook to buy 100 shares at seven dollars a share until january 17th 2026 now this is april 2024 we are talking one year and eight months of an obligation and for that amount of time for that amount of time 20 plus months of your life you're being offered $2.05 against a $700 commitment. Now, simple math is this. If you have $700 and I give you $210, that's 30% on your money. 205, awfully close to 30% on your money, 29.7 or whatever it is. A nice return on your investment. So you put up $700 and you can write one put contract and you get paid 205 in cash right now, today. It's in your account. You can do whatever you want with the money. If you leave it there, your $700, you have to leave it there. You have $905 in your account now sitting there. And if you're 
with any brokerage firm that offers platform trading, which 99.9% .9 of you use, you're going to be paid interest on your money that is sitting there. And right now it's about 4% a year, roughly. So you're going to get 4% interest on your $905 divided by 12 months. You know, every month you have it there. Okay. Is that the difference maker? No, but it's always nice to get an extra 4% just to be sitting there. You don't have to do anything now. Uh, you've written a put for $7 a contract, the stock's trading at $7.40 a share or so. Um, the obligation is there for you that you're on the hook to take the stock at seven, less the 205 you got, which means your cost is 495. Uh, but it's unlikely you're gonna be given the stock at $7 right now because the stock's at 740. No one's going to sell you stock at seven. I mean, the stock is 40 cents higher than what you're offering to pay. You're only offering to pay $7 a share. It's trading at 740. So no one's going to make you buy it at $7. The stock will have to go under $7 for someone with this contract or any of the contracts, the 20 odd thousand that are out there. Someone might say, well, you know, stocks at 650. I'm going to, I'm going to exercise my put contract. And with a lottery system, that is in existence through the Chicago Board of Trade, it might be your one contract that gets hit up and you are buying 100 shares at $7 each, 700 of your $905 goes out and you are now sitting on 100 shares of stock, but you still have your $205 that you originally get, were given. Well, if the stock's at 650 and you have 205 in cash and you sell the shares to get rid of them, you don't want them, uh, you'll take $50, uh, you'll get 650 for them, which is a loss of 50 cents on that $7 buy. So 50 cents comes off the 205, you let, are left with $155 in cash. So you're going, okay, I got 650 that just came in, plus the 205 I had left over, I have $855. I started with 700, I'm up 155 bucks on this deal. Now, if that happens in six months, you're a happy camper. You're going, I got $155 profit on my $700 commitment in six months. Well, that's 20%, more than 20% in just six months. But at the end of the deal, if nothing happens, no one buy, gives you stock. No one makes you buy anything. And the contracts expired worthless because the shares never went under seven. As a matter of fact, they went to eight or nine or 10 between now and January 2026. These contracts may never be exercised, and these $2.05 contracts will lose value every month that the shares stay above $7 because time is shrinking, shrinking, shrinking. A year from now, the contracts have eight months left to live. A year and a half from now, they have two or three months left to live. And so you're sitting back going, well, I'm going to fold my arms here. I got paid almost 30% uh, premium in cash. I'm getting interest on my money and the shares are up. Uh, there's no way they're going to make me buy these shares at seven if they're trading at eight or 10 or 12 or anything. And so you could wait until the very end of, of just January 17, 2026 and keep all $905. That's a luxury of not even buying this. You're offering to buy it, but no one ever made you buy it. There's your upside. Obviously, if the shares go to $2 a share, let's use a nightmare scenario. The shares go to $2 a share. You can bet your sweet bippy you're going to have to buy the stock at $7. And even though you got $205 up front, you're still paying $495 and the stock is $2. So I'm sorry, you're going to be down uh, $295 a share. Who isn't? Uh, everyone will be down at $2 a share. Are the shares going to $2? Really? Uh, is SoFi actually going to go to $2 a share? What would have to happen for that scenario? Something a lot worse than just SoFi going to two. There's got to be a world Armageddon for that to happen. So you always have to keep that in mind, but you want to cross the street. You're taking a risk doing that too. This is a very conservative trade. You're using $700 or $1,400 to write two contracts or $2,100 to write three contracts. 7,000, you can write 10 of these. So you got seven grand, you'll bring in $2,050. You have $70,000, you can write 100 of these contracts and bring in 20,500 in cash today. And now you're sitting on $90,500. You will wait, if you wish, for a couple of things to happen. Uh, time to go by, maybe six months, 
And if the stock reaches $8 by then, conservatively, it goes up just 60 cents. These puts are out of the money by a dollar. They only have, uh, you know, 14 months left to live instead of 20 months to live. It is unlikely they'll be worth $2 each. They'll probably be trading at a buck 40, buck 30, which means you could turn around and just buy them back. If you wrote one, you'll buy, you'll pay $130 to get that call that put back and you will keep the $75. If you did a hundred of them, you'll pay 13,500 to buy them back out of the 20,500 you were given and you keep $7,000 on your $70,000 commitment. 10%, six months, that's 20% a year. It's up to you. You can wait and do nothing and let the shares stay here. Let's go a little lower, go a lot higher, do nothing. And the more time that goes by, these contracts will shrink, 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 shrink until they become zeros and you will keep all two dollars and five cents a share or two hundred five dollars or two thousand fifty dollars or twenty thousand five hundred dollars now what what do you do then well if the shares are at ten dollars say a year year and eight months from now uh you might decide to write new cash secured puts at say 11 for up to two years and you'll bring in two bucks a share again on those and thank you very much you'll now fold your arms and say okay uh you want to go down i'll buy the shares they want to go up the contracts are worthless it's up to you welcome to the world of cash secured puts this is where you're saying to the market i'll buy them because i know i can get them at 495 net to me I'm happy paying $4.95. If I end up with stock at $4.95 a share, uh, the minute I get them, I could just sell them and write new cash secured puts. True. On the other hand, I could play the opposite game now. I'm long stock. Why don't I just write a call option against these shares that I just bought for just under $5 each? Why don't I write $5 call options, letting someone take them from me at five bucks plus a premium? of let's say two bucks a share. That gives me five plus two is seven for a stock I just bought for 495. If the shares have a little rally because they backed off, you got hit, you had to buy the stock and they rallied back to six and now you're writing $7 call options for a $2 premium, you're selling at nine. You're offering your stock at seven plus two, nine to you. You pay 495 for these shares. You're making money either way. You're, a, you're an option writer. You're always going to be an option writer. You're either a cash secured put writer or a call writer. You're a writer. And so SoFi is giving you a shot at stock at $4.95. If you're interested in that deal, you're interested in this uh, put contract. I hope you found this interesting. Hope you found it enlightening. Join me Monday to Friday every weekday when the markets are open at uh, 8.30 Eastern time. Um, I go live. I go live at eight o'clock for Gold Bagel members if you're a member of my channel. But at 8.30, you can join me anytime you want. If you want to learn how these options actually work, how are they created? How do they expire? How do they go up in value, down in value? How do you write one? How do you buy it back? You've got 17 classes available on my uh, website. You can head over there anytime you want. Here's the website right here, stockmuckerswithbruce.ca. And just scroll over there. You'll find my homepage uh, where uh, you'll see my friendly, uh, friendly, hi, how are you face? There it is. And what you'll do is you'll pop over here to the uh, tab that says classes. And once you do that, uh, you'll start seeing the classes listed right here. And there are 17 of these. Uh, how to buy uh, call and put options. Uh, how to write call and put stock options. And moving on, you'll find the lessons three and four, different techniques, five and six strategies, common mistakes that are made, seven and eight, earning income from writing put contracts. Sound familiar? Put contracts. Uh, set nine and 10, how to trade call and put butterfly options. How does Bruce pick his stocks? Number 11, using poor man cover call writing strategies, uh, option, the stock option rollover strategies, calls and puts, so this is important. How about stink offers and stink bids and the psychology of the markets? Very important to learn that. How to maximize profits from writing stock options. Here's number 15, advanced poor man covered call strategies. Number 16, 
we're talking about using other people's money to profit from the options market. Yes, you can actually write options and get credits. Um, we're talking about iron condors. There's all kinds of things to do here. Uh, lesson 17, fixing option trades and adding cash with smart spreads. These are the kind of classes you want to get your hands on. But I'll tell you right now, if you don't know anything about options and you want to take number 17, you're joining the college course that I've offered here three years into the college course. We started these lessons in 2021 and it's now 2024. You, you get your hands on lesson number one and two and start with those. You'll start getting comfortable running option already. Start running options. You'll earn while you learn as you take the additional classes. Add one to the other, to the other, to the other. The learning compounds on each lesson for you. By the time you get to lesson 10, 12, 14, you are way down the highway in knowledge about a lot of things options related. And then once you hit 17, you've caught up to all of us here live every day and you're going to be making money in option writing. I'm pretty confident of that. Thank you for joining us today. I uh, hope you found this uh, class uh, interesting, informative, uh, useful. How to buy SoFi at $4.95. Um, this is a limited time offer because if the shares uh, go higher, uh, those put premiums will shrink and you'll be paying more. Mind you, if the stock goes to eight fifty and you can get the stock for five fifty, you might not care. On the other hand, um, make your move anytime you're ready and lock in these cash rewards. And as I said, with that money in your hands, you can do whatever you want with that capital. Theoretically, you could just take the $2.05 a share and buy more stock with it. Just buy more SoFi shares or buy stock in something else or amass enough capital from these 205 premiums to write a cash secure put on another stock, maybe AI, or you might do a credit spread, a put credit spread on NVIDIA. Uh, the lessons are going to come in handy now. <laughs> You're going to need to check those out. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great day. We'll see you all tomorrow morning, starting Monday, uh, April the 8th at 8.30 Eastern time for Live with Stock Markets with Bruce, your buddy Uncle Bruce. We'll see you then. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.